Welcome back. So as I promised in the last video, we're now going to see how we use NPM and we're going to install a few packages. Hopefully it's a fun lesson. The two packages that we are going to install are pretty silly and definitely not the most useful, but fundamentally we install them the exact same way that we'll install our packages like Express and Mongoose in the next unit. Before we begin, the two objectives that I wanna make sure to hit are showing you how to use NPM install, the command NPM install to install a package, and then also using require to include a package in a JS file. Let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is make a new folder, make directory, and I'm just going to call this demo app. And I'm going to CD into demo app, just like that. And I'm going to make a new file here. So touch app.js, and then I'll open that up. And I'll just start with a really simple console.log from app.js and save and run it node app.js. We're doing this just so that we have a place to install our packages in. We want to make a directory for them. We want to have a file that we'll run them with. So that's why we have this app.js file inside of the demo app directory. The first package that we're going to use is something called catme. You can search for it on NPM if you just search for catme. It's the first result and the only result. Like I said, it's a pretty silly package. What it does is it makes you ASCII art cats. So things like this or this here, or even this gigantic one here. But the goal is that it's just a one or two JavaScript methods that you call and they print out a bunch of text that someone else went through the effort of figuring out how to print these cats. The very first thing we need to do is install it. So it's called cat-me. So then we just need that name and we go back to our terminal here and we run npm install cat-me. So that command npm install is really important. We'll be doing it constantly. Every time we start a new application, every unit will be installing five or six different packages. So you'll get used to using that pretty quickly. Uh, before I hit enter, I do want to just point out what the demo app currently looks like. It's empty except for app.js. But as soon as I hit npm install catme, it will take a moment. It's going to npm servers and finding catme and getting the correct files and installing it. And now if I hit ls here, you'll see we actually have a new folder that wasn't there before, node modules. And I'll open it up here. There we go, node modules. And then inside of that, we have catme. And inside of catme, there's a bunch of files. And these are the files of that package. So this is the code that someone else wrote. You can see these are the different cats that will be printed out. So node modules is a directory that is automatically created for us whenever we install a package. And all future packages that we install, so in a moment we'll install a second one, will also live inside of node modules. So then it will look like node modules has cat me and then our other package, which tells knock knock jokes will be inside of node modules as well. So that's how we install a package, but to use it, we need to import it into our application. And to do that, we use the require command. So I'll show you here. So that looks like this var something. I'll just call it something for now equals require cat dash me, which is the name of the package. When I run this code, it will automatically look for a package called catme or a file called catme, and it will find inside of node modules cat-me, and it knows which code automatically to include. It has to do with this file called index.js, but that's a little bit too detailed. So it automatically includes all of the right code from here. It grabs everything that's needed, and then it sticks it inside a variable called something, and that can be whatever we want it to be called. Now I'm going to head back to the docs and show you how we can use catme. This is the other really important part of packages is using the docs, finding out how the packages work. And catme is very, very simple, which is why we're using it now. But some of the things that we use later on will have 100 or 200 different methods and they all work slightly differently. And you'll have to be very careful about reading the docs to understand the ins and outs of some of the functionality. But as I said, catme is very simple. All we do is require it which we already have done. 
And in this case, they save it to a variable catme. And then to get a random cat, you just run catme. So the name of this variable, then we add parentheses afterwards, and that executes a function. What that tells us is that when we require catme, what we get back is a function that we can execute, just like any other function that we've created, just like alert in the browser or console.log. When we add parentheses, it will execute it. So let's go ahead and try that now. I'll get rid of this console.log. And let's change the name so it's not something. Let's just call it cat. I want to show you that the name doesn't have to be cat me. And then we'll just run cat, just like that. And it did mention that it returns the ASCII art cat. It doesn't print it out. So if we just run cat and I run my file now, which is node app.js, we won't actually see anything. The very fact that we didn't get an error when we ran the cat function tells us that our require worked. But of course, we want to see the cats. That's what we're here for. So I'm just going to console.log that. So console.log cat and save. And now I'm going to clear and make some space here just so that you can be impressed. That clear command is just a nice way to clear out the terminal. And now what I want to do is run node app.js and we get a random cat. And let's do one more. There we go. Fun stuff. We now have two random cats and this is all code that we never wrote. We're just using someone else's package. Yes, it's simple, but it's the exact same concepts to use a more serious package like express, which is exactly what we have right here. Var express equals require express or var mongoose equals require mongoose. So we'll be doing this in just a few videos, but it's the exact same syntax var something equals require the name of a package. So that was catme. Now I want to show using this other package called knock knock jokes. And all that it does, it's also very simple. We install it first and require it. And then we execute it. Knock knock is what they name the variable in this case. But again, it can be called anything. And when we execute that function, it returns a knock knock joke. We want to make sure we're in the same directory as the node modules folder. We don't want to be outside of this directory like here. If I installed it right here, it would make another node modules directory here. So it wouldn't be installed in the same place as the catme package. So we'll go back into our demo app where we see node modules and we need to run npm install knock dash knock dash joke. Let's double check knock knock jokes with the S on the end and hit enter. It will take a moment. It goes and finds it. And then you can see if I type ls or I do ls node modules, we now have two folders inside of there, catme and knock knock jokes. And I'll open that up. Let's look at knock knock jokes. We have this index.js and this is the file where the knock knock jokes are. It kind of ruins the magic to actually look at it because it will spoil the jokes. But we can see that there's a jokes array where each joke is an object. And then down here, there's this format joke function that will return this knock knock who's there, joke.name, joke.name who, and so on. We're definitely ruining the magic though. So let's close out of here and let's import the knock knock joke package into our code here. So we'll just do it up top. Most of the time you'll see a lot of import statements at the top rather than being spread out across a file. They're all at the top like I have here. These are all of the required statements to import packages. So we're going to do the same thing, var joke equals require, and then the name of the package, which is knock dash knock dash jokes and save. And then all we want to do is execute that joke just like that. And we'll console.log it again because it just returned a joke. And if we want to see it, we need to print it out. So now we'll get a cat and a joke if all works well, if our two packages have been installed and imported correctly. So we save and then we'll expand this and we'll run node app.js. We get our cat and we get this joke, knock, knock, who's there? Abby, Abby who? Abby birthday to you. And one more, knock, knock, who's there? Cheese. Cheese who? Cheese a cute girl. Cheese a cute cat too. All right, that's enough of that. Um, let's wrap up now. 
let's review some of the basics here. Those two commands I mentioned in the objectives are npm install. So we ran npm install knock knock jokes and npm install cat me. Whenever we run npm install, it goes and finds that code on npm. And once it downloads that code, it saves it to a folder, a directory called node modules, which if it doesn't exist yet, it will make node modules the first time. But then as soon as it does exist, it just adds the newer modules into the same node modules directory. But just downloading them or installing a package doesn't let us use it. We still have to include it in our code with the require statement. And we require with the name of the package, cat-me or knock knock jokes, save it to a variable. And then we can use that variable, which is really just storing all of the code that's coming back from cat me and knock knock jokes. We can use that variable throughout the rest of our code. All right, so that's it. In the next video, I'm gonna have you do another quick exercise. This one should be pretty fun because you're gonna be using another package, one that's actually a little bit more useful than printing cats or knock knock jokes. I won't spoil it yet. I'll see you in the next video.